Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Sheikh Excel Master and I am your friend Faraz Sheikh. Today I am making this video on a special request from all of my friends and subscribers who would like to know how to calculate the VAT value of a product. So let me just brief you my friends. With effective from 1st of January, Saudi Arabia has implemented the, the VAT. Yes, they have implemented VAT. Earlier in Saudi there was no VAT. But since 1st of January 2018, they have implemented VAT and this is their VAT website where they have imposed uh, a 5% of tax on all the goods and services that were brought and sold by the business. And there are very few exceptions are there. And you can go to the VAT, what is VAT website and you can get the manual from here. It is here at the bottom where it in detail explains you on what kind of service the VAT is applicable and how to calculate the VAT. Well, the VAT in Saudi Arabia is the lowest compared to the other countries in the world. So you can just go through the document and you can come to know according to your business how to apply the VAT. But by standard, by default, it is 5% on all services and goods the purpose of mine is making this video is my friends to make your life very easy with the help of the excel how we can round up the value or we can just let system automatically calculate the product unit price so you can get the maximum profit with that and you can equally pay the back value as well so as you can see earlier when if i used to purchase a book a pencil or a mobile cover the total used to come 93 riyal, but so after the implementation of the VAT, the VAT value is coming 4.65. So once we total up, we are getting a value of 97.65. So it is a really an odd number, and it's difficult to get the change for that currency until unless if you are paying it by a credit card. You will either sell your product with a lower cost or with a higher cost so that you can easily get the change. But today we have a solution for that and I'm going to show it to you, my friends. So it's very simple, my friends. What we are going to do is we are going to take the help of the goal seeker. Yes, the goal seeker is an excellent function in Excel which allows you to get your goal value within fraction of seconds. Let me show it to you. We'll go to data and we'll go to what if analysis. And there we are going to select the goal seeker. A small uh, window will pop up. And in that, you need to set the cell. The cell you want to change it and you get the target value. And then you need to set that value. Like in our case, we can either put 98 or we'll put 97.75. So you can easily get the change. Buy. Now you can just select any of your one product over here. Okay. Like we'd like to change this product value. And once we select OK. Great. As you can see, the goal seeker has done the job for us within a fraction of a second. We don't need to worry what the value we need to set it to make it 98 or rounding it off or you don't need to place a round function to round up the value then you will have the different calculation here so let us make it this value again goal seeker and this time i change this value to 100 and i wanted to change the product value of color pencils Okay, great. The goal seeker has automatically calculated the value and I can easily do my business transactions. And even if you like to, again, change a certain value, what if analysis, goal seeker, it's like this, set this value, and we would like to have this value as 44. And by changing the product value over here, okay. Great, isn't it amazing? But still, we come up with a figure 100.80, 100.80 halalas. So again, we we'll go to Goal Seeker. This time, 101. 
and by changing the value over here. Okay, great. So with the help of the goal seeker, you can achieve your goal target and you can maximize the profit and you can don't have to worry about the rounding of the value by putting a round function or dividing it. The system will do its job. And I hope this will be very helpful for you in your daily activities. An important thing with the goal seeker, my friends, when you are using the goal seeker, the set value should be a calculated field, like how we have it over here, that's sum of H17 to H11. It's very important to have the set cell as in calculated field, or else you will not get your data. I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video and don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button for the latest updates. As usually I will be keeping a soft copy of this file on my Facebook group page so you can download that file and you can try this exercise file by yourself. I will be keep making more videos regarding the VAT calculation in my future videos so I can help you out the best to simplify your task. So if you have any queries, please post it in the below video comment so I can get it back to you as soon as possible. So that's it my friend. Signing off for today, your friend Prashake from FShake Excel Master.